I'm going to show you how you can host your .NET Web API solution in Docker. And for this, I'm using right now, as you can see, .NET Core 3.0 as a target framework. You can use any version, by the way. And this is my simple controller. As you can see right now, I'm having a very simple method saying cat. And there I'm using another libraries method, cat message. If I go inside, you can see it's just returning hello world. All right. So first I'll try to show you how it's gonna be from my local machine. So when I hit F5, you can see it's loading. Yeah, as you can see, it's printing hello world. What I'll do, I'll just copy the same URL and show you to Postman. So URL was already there, so I'll just simply say execute and you can see it's printing hello world. Okay, and the status is 200 and the method is get. What I want, I want to host the same application and I'll try to show you the same API running from the Docker machine. All right, so for that, I have to create a Docker file. So I'm gonna use uh, uh, a studio feature. So for that, what you do, you just simply go to your uh, project, main project, say right click, click on add and select this option, Docker support. Once you click it, it will ask what's the target. So for me, the target is Linux, I'll say okay. As you can see, it has created a Docker file and it has all the information, whatever is required to host this application inside of it. All right, I just close all. And before that, I'll show you how my Docker machine is looking like. So you can see I'm using a Docker toolbox because my Windows, uh, it's a home edition. So for that, we have to use a Docker toolbox. I'll create a separate video on that. So for, I'll just show you Docker images, whatever images I have for now. So you can see right now there is no image with the solution name. You can see on the right side, I'm showing sample wavepi 3.0, it's my solution name and there is no image. All right, so let's uh, build that image. So that for that the same thing, I'll say right click on Docker file, click on this build Docker image. See, as you can see, it's built it and successfully completed. It's, it was quite very fast for me because I already have a metadata pa packages as you can see over here, these two. So that's why it was fast. So when you will do for the first time, it's gonna take a while. All right, now I'll show you the same command again, Docker images. Now you can see it has one more repository with the name sample wave API 3.0. All right, now this repository we need to run. So for that, there is a command called docker run and the name of the repository. And now we need to tell on what port number I want to expose this API. So for that, I'll say hyphen P. And I want to run this over a port number 8087 and inside port number is 80. That's it. If I hit my bad, I type in its of P. All right. Now you can see this uh, API is up and running. Let me try to host it. And before that, I'll just show you what's the IP of this Docker toolbox. So how to get it? You can use command prompt and simply say Docker. You can use the same terminal as well, but I'm, I'm doing from here. Docker machine IP. XY. So you can see the port number of my IP of my Docker machine is 192.168.99.100. That's the default IP of a Docker toolbox. All right. And the port number is 8087. So I'll just go to a postman. And as you can see, I have the same port number. It, but I, I deployed on 8087. So I'll just change it over here. And the my project name is same thing, sample web API. If I hit, now you can see it's printing hello world. All right. Now you can also create any kind of .NET application. Just simply say right click, create Docker file, and just deploy. As simple as that. All right. Thanks very much.